Okay. All right. So we talked about these. All right. And then so if I asked you what is i to the 35th power, how are we going to do something like that, Anna? Well, what we want to do is let's continue down this method. Because if we are able to figure out step by step how to get to i to the 4th, we can follow that same method to get to i to the 35th. It's going to take us doing it 35 times, but we can do it. So the first thing I look at, Wendy, is I say, all right, so if I have i to the 4th equals 1, let's figure out what i to the 5th is. So to figure out i to the 5th, what I'm going to do is multiply that way. What I'm going to do is multiply by i on both sides. So i to the 4th times i is i to the 5th. And what's 1 times i? i. All right, and what does i represent? The square root of negative 1. So it looks like we're starting the pattern again. But let's just double check. Let's go to the next value. So if I have i to the 5th represented as square root of negative 1, let's figure out what i to the 6th would be. Or, um, yeah, we're going to say i to the 5th is equal to i. Let's write it like that. So i to the 5th is equal to i, which is going back to our setup. So let's do i to the 6th. So I do i to the 5th times i equals i times i again, right? So therefore, i times i to the 5th is i to the 6th, which equals i squared. And i squared, we again represent an equal negative 1. So the main important thing you guys need to understand is this is actually repeating itself, right? It goes up to 4, and then it repeats itself again, correct? So when I ask you what is a higher power, you can just continually follow this up to, 30, up to all the way up to 35, unless you guys want me to show you the shortcut. OK. Well, you guys know after, after I hit up to 4, it repeats itself, right? After I go up to 4, it repeats. Go up to 4, it repeats. So what I can do is I'm going to eliminate all those repetitions out of there. So how many times does it, remember, every 4 it repeats. How many times does it repeat? up to 35. It repeats 8 times, right? So what you do is you can write 35 divided by 4, the number it takes for it to repeat, which is going to be i equals, so it repeats 8 times, and then I'm left with the remainder of what? 3. So i to the 35th, when I take out those repetitions, is the same thing as i to the third. And what is i to the third equal to? Negative i. OK? And there you go. I divided 35 divided by 4, which is 32. The remain So to get to 32 to 35, you have a remainder of 3. What you do is you, you divide into it, you divide your, your x, um, you divide 4 into your exponent, and then you take out the remainder. All right? So whatever your remainder is going to be, that's going to be your exponent, where this is really your remainder 1. And you can write, you're never going to have a remainder of 4, because that remainder of 4 is a repeat, right? So it's really a remainder 4, or actually when you have a remainder 0, um, you're going to get 1. Because, yeah, because what is, what, how many times is 4 going to 35? 8. So 8 times 4 is 32, right? To go from 32 to 35, you have to go 3, right? So that's your remainder is 3. So you take your remainder and you put it as your exponent. Then you go over here and you say, which remainder has a remainder of 3? i to the third, which is equal to negative i. Yes? No, I want you to simplify it to negative i. Bless you. 